Nigeria is witnessing a surge in COVID-19 cases due to the Omicron variant, and this has seen the reopening of isolation centers in states. This is in res readiness of possible admission of COVID-19 patients as cases of the virus continue to rise in the country. That's the crux of our first discussion. Now, joining me via Zoom from Kano is public health physician, Dr. Usman Bashir. Dr. Bashir, good morning. It's good to have you join me now. Good morning for me. Thank you very much. Great. Right. Now, uh, the Omicron uh, variant of COVID-19 is said to uh, be spreading fast. Uh, but we hear, you know, comments from people here and there. But try to clarify this for us. How more dangerous is the Omicron variant from the Delta or the regular COVID-19 that we have had before? Uh, thank you very much. Um, like you've asked, you know that uh, these variants, like we said, we're still studying them. But as we can see, the rate of uh, infection, like you said, the spread, it's really faster with the Omicron variant. Even though recent data is showing that uh, the, what do you call it, the rate of uh, uh, severity of illness is less from that. But when you look at the numbers that I, we are getting now, you can see that the numbers are rising and disproportionately, and that is not good for us because we, in like in our set, like you've just mentioned, that uh, isolation centers are being opened again. This means that we might be overwhelmed with the numbers coming because the numbers are increasing, the numbers are high, because maybe if initially in the past you are having 100 cases per week, now you are having. 2,000, 3,000 per week, which means the numbers are increasing. And then the proportion of those that will get the severity of the illness will still be the same. Meaning that instead of before that we can admit five or six, now we have to call, continue with 50. And then if we have only space for 20 in our state or in our locality, it means we are overwhelmed. So it means the system will be overwhelmed. So it means we need to do more. In, uh, we will need to uh, sit up, especially, and then with this festivities period now, people will move around, people will celebrate, and even though efforts are being made uh, in trying to educate the public, that they, they only need to travel if it is necessary, and then they need to stay at home, and then they need to reduce their risk, uh, uh, ways of uh, getting the disease, like as we mentioned maintaining social distancing, putting on your face masks, and also washing your hands, and getting vaccinated, which we are still lagging behind. All right, now let's talk about the issue of uh, isolation centers closing initially and opening now. Give us a typical picture of what's happening in Kano. How are residents responding to it, and how is government trying to get people to vaccinate and get people to stay safe. Give us an, a picture of that, especially in Kano. Um, currently, as you know, the weather is, the weather we're in cold weather, Hamatan, and that is even aiding us because people now wear their face masks. Not really, when you ask some of them, it's not really because of COVID they are wearing because they don't want to get the harsh weather, and which is good for us. And then now there's even a scale program Meaning that uh, vaccination is taking is being taken to communities, so that at least more people will be reached out, because that is the essence. Because if you look at our um, the numbers we have in nationwide, is about three percent. And in Canada, the data is so three or four days is about four percent of the population, which is just a little bit higher than the national level. But we need to do more because four percent of our population is a big number, so we need to do more. People need to come out and get vaccinated. Those that have not had their first dose should have their first dose. Those that have not had completed their second dose should come and have theirs. And then those that are due for the booster, which is done six months after the initial, the, after completion of your dose, should come out and do because now we have all the vaccines available. So it's no longer mean that vaccines are not available. Vaccines are available, 
and the various uh, types, meaning that uh, um, Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, they are all available now. And then people should get, and then, you know, currently most of what we do now is there's what to call home-based care and then admission. Home-based care is when patients are, uh, when patients are diagnosed, they're usually seen by healthcare workers who will make assessment whether they require isolation center or they need to stay at home. So those that require admission will be taken to the isolation center. And those that, that are asymptomatic or are currently at the time of uh, 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 they are being uh, seen by the healthcare worker, they are kept at home so that but when they develop complication or they are told some danger signs which when they develop, they will call on the number and then they will be picked up. So really currently now, there's no much problem as of now in Ghana. All right. Uh, talk to us about the response of the people to vaccination. How ready are residents of Kano to vaccinate and uh, go out to and, and speak to other people to vaccinate? Yes. Like I, like I said, people are coming out now to take the vaccine because they have seen the essence of the vaccine one. And then they have seen that the, when you need to travel, you need to get vaccinated because most countries don't allow anybody without uh, complete vaccination. And even those that are making fake cuts, they are being turned back because now there are tests we do to find out if you have not really done the vaccine or you've not done that. So most people that want to travel, you know, kind of people, they like traveling. So um, that has raised the numbers that we're seeing. People are now readily coming, making calls. Sometimes even during the weekend, that they want to get vaccinated. And then some people, we take them to centers because there's what to call, um, in each LGA, there's what to call super site, where they work uh, throughout the week, meaning Saturday, Sundays, in each LGA. So we we'll refer them to those centers. So it's really uh, encouraging. But the number, like I said, we are not where we are supposed to be. Mm. So we need to encourage more people to come. And there's no need for that communication, like I said. Okay. All right, we have to leave it here now. Thank you so much, Dr. Usman Bashir, for your time on the program this morning. Well, thank you. Very much. Great.